In lecture, you've learned about Gram-Schmidt orthogonalization, and that's what today's problem is about. We have a matrix A, and its columns are A, B, and C, and I want you to find orthonormal vectors Q1, Q2, and Q3 from those three columns. Then, I want you to write A as a, its QR decomposition, where Q is an orthogonal matrix, and R is an upper triangular matrix. Remember, an orthogonal matrix is a matrix whose columns are orthonormal vectors. All right, work on it for a little while, hit pause, and when you're ready, I'll come back and we'll do it together. Did you manage to solve that all right? Well, let's start solving it together. So Gram-Schmidt orthogonalization, as you should remember from lecture, uh, consists in the following. At each step, you find your orthonormal vector by taking the vector that you start with, A, B, or C in this case, and making it orthonormal to the uh, previous ones. Let's, uh, let's actually do it. We want to find Q1. Well, to find Q1, start with A and make it orthonormal to the previous ones. There's no previous one, so that's very easy. The direction of A is fine, and you just need to ensure that your vector has length 1. Well, A is the vector 1, 0, 0. So you should divide it by its length, but its length is 1. So this is simply 1, 0, 0. Q1 is done. Now let's do Q2. So with Q2, I will start with my vector b. And then I want to make it, well, first of all, orthogonal to what I already have, which is q1. For that, I'm going to subtract off from b the projection of b onto q1 minus b dot q1 times q1. Usually, when you're doing the projection of a vector onto another vector, you have to divide it by the length of, in this case, q1. But because q1 has length 1, you don't need to do that. So what will it be here? Well, b dot q1 is going to be, um, let me write, b is 2, 0, 3, minus b dot q1 will be 2 times 1, 0, 0. So this will be 0, 0, 3. This vector is orthogonal to this one, and you can check by doing their dot product. It should be 0, and it is. We need it also to be uh, length 1, because we want these two vectors to be orthonormal. So this is not actually q2. Let's call this one q2 prime, and set q2 equals to q2 prime divided by its length, which in this case is 3. 0, 0, 1. That's my vector q2. Let's go on to the third one, q3. Well, again, I start with my third vector, c. And then I want to subtract the projection of c onto q1 and onto q2. And that will give me a q3 that is orthogonal to both q1 and q2. c minus c dot q1 times q1 minus c dot q2 dot q2. This will be c 4, 5, 6 minus q1 was 1, 0, 0, so 4 times 1, 0, 0 minus q2 6, 0, 0, 1. So this vector will be 0, 5, 0. And once again, this one is orthogonal to q1 and q2, but it is not norm 1 yet. So q3, I'll call that one q3, q3 prime. And I'll set q3 equals to q3 prime divided by its length, which is 5. q3 is the vector. 0, 1, 0. One, one thing that I want you to note is that 
my vectors q1, q2, q3 are very nice in this case. Usually when you perform Gram-Schmidt orthogonalization, you end up with lots of square roots because you're dividing by the length. In this case, we have everything is integers, which is, well, very lucky. Next part of the problem is we want to write the QR decomposition of the matrix A. A equals QR. Right. Well, the matrix A, you already know what it is. It is the matrix 1, 2, 4, 0, 0, 5, 0, 3, 6. In Q, you want to be an orthogonal matrix. Like I said before, an orthogonal matrix has orthonormal vectors for its columns. And we already have such a matrix. It's the matrix that has Q1, Q2, and Q3 as its column vectors. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 1, 0. And now we need an upper triangular matrix that makes this equality true. Take a moment to look at your matrix Q. It is simply a permutation matrix. So it's very easy to come up with a matrix that should fit here. What this, ma what this permutation matrix does is it exchanges rows 2 and 3 from my matrix R to give you A. So you know what R must be. It must be 1, 2, 4, 0, 3, 6. That's the third row of A. And then 0, 0, 5, which is the second row of A. And indeed, R is upper triangular. This is your QR decomposition of the matrix A. Q is orthogonal, R is upper triangular. But let's see where these numbers in the matrix R are coming from. Let me label these columns for you, A, B, C, and Q1, Q2, Q3. And then I have my matrix R. You know from the way that matrix multiplication works that A is going to be this matrix Q times the first column of R. So you can regard that as these numbers in the first column of R are giving you the linear co coefficients in which you need to take these vectors to add up to A. Let me write that down. A is going to be 1 times Q1 plus 0 times Q2 plus 0 times Q3. Let's do it for B. The second column of this matrix will be Q times this column. So it will be 2 times Q1 plus 3 times Q2 plus 0 times Q3. And finally for C, I will have C is equal to this matrix times this vector, 4Q1 plus 6Q2 plus 5Q3. Now let's go back and see where these numbers are showing up. I wanted to have A equals to 1 times Q1. Well, that's very easy. It comes from here. A equals 1 times Q1. Let's try the second one. B equals 2Q1 plus 3Q2. Well, Q2. Hmm, let's see, q2 prime is equal to 3 times q2, so let me write this here to help. 3q2. Now let me remind you that b dot q1 was equal to 2. Now look at this equation. You have b is equal to 2q1 plus 3q2, which is what we wanted. Let's check q3. q3 prime is equal to 5q3. So let me write that here, 5q3. And now I have c is equal to, this was number, this number was 4, and this number was 6. c is equal to 4q1 plus 6q2 plus 5q3, which indeed is what we wanted. So this is where these numbers from the matrix R are coming from. And that finishes this problem. I hope you have a better grasp at the Q of the QR decomposition now. Bye. See you next time.